So the time is currently 08.27. It's the morning, Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. We're here at the milepost A800, looking at the North End of Stanton signals. We're gonna be out on the CFRC Sunrail corridor today, shooting Sunrail, Amtrak, and some CSX. So we'll be uh, waiting for some Sunrail, Amtrak 91, 97, 98. We'll uh, do A777, it'll be sometime later in the morning. So right now we've got a clear signal northbound for the North Sun Rail train and it's southbound we've got another clear. We're in the middle of the morning rush hour so we've got a couple of them here. We'll probably shoot maybe one or two here and we'll move, move around a little bit here in the area. I'm gonna go check her out, Kaylee, see if Conrad Yelvington's running and just see what else the day brings us. So stay tuned. So that was P307 northbound and P302 southbound here at Stanton Y. I think what we'll do shortly is head up toward the uh, Taft Yard, see what we got next. We got a restricting here showing at the north end of Stanton on track two. So dispatchers automatically lining up the next northbound Sun Rail train right after the northbound that just passed. Now as the train that just passed clears up in the blocks ahead, you'll get this upgrading. Two better indications. Well, the south end hasn't done it yet. Oh, that just upgraded to a restricting aspect. So, you know we're in the uh, we're in the thick of it now. In the uh, little rush hour we've got, because they're automatically lining signals immediately after the train clears the uh, signals in the same block. And we just got an upgrade to an approach. We're set up here at Middle Tab. Here comes CSX Local A777.
All right, we're back here at Kaylee Yard again where we shot the sun rail a couple times ago. Uh, we're gonna film Conrad Yellington here, shoving back into Kaylee Yard with an Alco RS1. There's a sun rail somewhere nearby, so we'll shoot him too going by again, same spot. I believe it's a southbound. Here we see Conrad Yellington's other Alco, an S2. This has also been sitting for years like this RS1, but now they decided to suddenly start using the RS1. It's my second time getting this RS1 in operation. Second time for an Alco for me as well, so it's pretty cool. So they just started shoving back now. I'm gonna shove back across Cayley Street right here and uh, we're gonna film from here.
We're at the uh, north end of the Stanton Y. Waiting for a northbound Sunrail train again for the third, I think the third time today, P307. Got them on the southbound run first thing this morning, northbound run again. And Actually, I, think, I don't think I got them on the northbound run. I can't I go back and look at my notes, but I uh, got them on the southbound run at Cayley. Now I'm here at the north end of Stanton Y. For him to run north again. Amtrak 91 is coming up to Orlando now, and Amtrak 97 is just behind him. Amtrak 98 is running a little late, which is what we call it 90 late, so that's about normal. And uh, somewhere in the RC branch here, A777 is working. Up here at the Mapos A799. Well, I hear Horn to my west. Actually, it's surprisingly overcast. It's kind of cold out here. I hear a horn coming, so that's probably triple seven coming back out of the RC brand. They might have to stop and work some more local customers over here, so I'm gonna see. Stay set up for the sun rail until it gets close. We're right here at the crossing. Waiting on this northbound sun rail. I don't know where he's at. It should be kind of close. I uh, lost my radio antenna about a week or so ago, and so I had to J-rig up a, uh... Oh, there's a bird. Florida wildlife. But I had to J-rig up taking an old, t old TV antenna, the kind that you screw into the back of your TV. I took that, and it works just well enough with my uh, radio that I can use it as an antenna for my radio as well. So the range isn't the best, but for the time being it works. I'm just following this guy around. I'm gonna leave him alone, he just flew away. Not the best angle there, but I'm trying to be picky with how I frame this here because the uh, people at the industry to the right of here at uh, Brantag, they are very uh, animal about people sitting here. Even though this is on public property, they'll try to come out here and harass you and force you to leave, making threats to you. So that's for the sake of avoiding confrontation, I'm being try trying to be picky about how I do it because I don't want to deal with these people at Brantag here. Like I said, they've harassed me and other people who've come here, but don't back down. I'm on my right side, perfectly fine to sit here and film. So that's triple seven going back into uh, some places over there. They're going to uh, grab a few more things out of there. They're going to come back here, shove onto their train, and pull out here. Onto the siding there, and then eventually back to Taft.
Okay, so that southbound was P319. He's heading south. Uh, he's about to stop at Meadowwood Station. He'll be back north probably about another hour. Amtrak 91 sounds like he's coming to Orlando Station now, so we'll probably stay right here actually and wait on him. Just uh, Bolton Formex number 8990 is addressed to the Amtrak 153 South. CFRC subdivision. Crossing warning system, Omampo 789.48. 789.48. Crossing name, West Colonial Drive. Activation failure. Activation failure on all tracks. Over. It's Amtrak getting their version of a uh, EC1. We, don't use, we used to use the CSX EC1 system here on the Sunrail Corridor, but they've changed the system that they use now. They use some kind of uh, BNSF G-Core type thing, if I remember correctly. Uh, I haven't bothered Amtrak 153, it. that is correct. 1244 JEH, That's correct, and I believe you have the original bulletin to that was bulletin number 8988. All right, that was Amtrak 91, coming southbound. Got Amtrak 98 in line north here at North and Stanton with an advanced approach. And now we have Amtrak 97. Amtrak 97 coming southbound with Amtrak number 153 leading. You just call a clear signal at Middle Tap. No, 
Here comes P319 again, northbound, on the number two track, Malpo's A800.0. Dispatcher just lined the signal northbound for 98 into the block behind P319. And I hope you all enjoy this nice view of the uh, pole as uh, Amtrak 98 rolls toward us up track number two. And again, another restricting into the block behind Amtrak 98 for northbound Sunrail. We've got a clear signal on the number one track southbound of South and Stanton for a southbound Sunrail. And uh, I was planning to move from this spot, honestly, but I guess I'm going to stay right here. I don't really get a chance to move anywhere. Uh, kind of a cloudy, overcast day, really. I was thinking about going to. Uh, I was gonna chase triple seven down the sexton spur, but I don't know really. I really don't know. So for those wondering why there's a restricting here, Amtrak 98 is still in the block between North End Stanton and North End Taft on this number two track. Once 98 clears the block and goes between the it goes into the block, excuse me, between North End Taft and TUFC. The signal will upgrade to a yellow over red over red, which is an A approach. There we go, right there. Wow, I actually timed that perfectly. So now, Amtrak 98 is going to be the block between TUFC and North End Taft. He's going north. Once he clears TUFC, he goes between TUFC and Sand Lake, then you'll get a double yellow over red, which is an advanced approach, so on and so forth, up the color line. Now, Dispatcher does this because he's got a northbound train coming right behind Amtrak somewhere down the line. Now, dispatchers won't always do this. If there's no train, they'll simply just leave it red. Or depending on how far the train is, they may not line it until the train gets a little closer. So it all depends on your dispatcher, what he does, decides to do, how he tries to do it. But with Sunrail pretty much, you know, being back to back with everything here, they just make it easier to just go ahead and line everything as it is behind. Now, I don't know what's going to be here first. I think the southbound sun rail is kind of close. I think I hear their kind of horn. Yes, they they say they have real horns. The cab car is supposed to have P3s. The engine is supposed to have P5s. They, uh, you all, If you all watch my videos, you know the story about how the sun rail horns go. That is P321, Jerry Sinclair, I know I said I'd knock down a signal for you, here it goes, knocking down South and Stanton on the number one track, Sunrail P321, and there it goes. 
Now after the advance approach that we had here at North End Stanton, I don't know if I had recorded or not, I honestly can't remember. We have an approach limited indication here. Yellow over flashing green. It says approach, next signal, not exceeding, not exceeding 45 miles an hour. Your next signal could be a limited clear, an approach medium, an advance approach. Those are your possible signal indications you could receive after having this signal. Usually sometimes it'll be a limited clear, but this is seaboard system signal rules and seaboard system signals are all about speed. These are not route signals. Well, that'll be it for today. It's two o'clock now. I'm gonna head back home and take care of some things, check up on my dog and see what's going on right there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and take the rest of my day to take care of a few things. Uh, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed and you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And uh, for everyone who is subscribed, thanks for sticking around with me. Hope you guys had fun rail fan along with me. See you guys next time.